Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with AWS API Gateway and IAM authorization. Our viewer is facing an invalid signature exception error while trying to invoke an API. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the error message you're encountering. The invalid signature exception indicates that the signature used in your request is not valid. The specific message states that the signature has expired. This means that the timestamp included in your request is older than the current time allowed by AWS. To resolve this issue, ensure that the timestamp in your request is current. AWS allows a maximum of five minutes of clock skew. Additionally, verify that you are using the correct access key and secret key for the IAM user you created. Any mismatch can also lead to authorization errors. Finally, if you're still facing issues, consider regenerating your IAM user's keys and updating them in Postman. This can help eliminate any potential issues with the keys themselves. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A user encountered the signature expired error and resolved it by adding a specific option. They suggest using correct clock skew true in your configuration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing a signature expired error on your AWS EC2 Ubuntu server and can't fix the time using NTP, there's a workaround. You can manually set the date using a command that fetches the current time from Google. This command retrieves the date from Google's server and sets your system time accordingly. It's a quick fix if NTP isn't working. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering a signature expired error while running Lambda functions locally with SAM, it might be due to a time mismatch between your Docker container and your host machine. Restarting Docker on your host should fix this issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. There are two main reasons for the signature expired error in AWS. First, if your CPU is overloaded, it can cause a delay in processing requests, leading to a time skew. This means some requests may fail, but not all. The second reason is if your machine's clock is not properly adjusted. 
In this case, you could lose 100% of your events, so it's crucial to ensure your clock is set correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user encountered an invalid signature exception error while making AWS API requests from a local VM. Despite checking the date and syncing, the issue persisted. The user resolved it by restarting the VM, though the exact cause remained unclear. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.